one of the things that happens is, and, the, and when it does, and you know you're on the right track, is that as you're writing the dialogue, or as you're writing about a particular character, a particular situation, um, at some point, the character comes alive and almost imposes his or her words, his or her dialogue on you, almost forces you. I mean, I've read, you know, interviews or with, with, you know, by writers who say this happens. And when I first wrote, read this before I started writing myself, I wasn't quite sure what that meant. Uh, but they're absolutely right. Uh, if you're doing the character well, at some point, uh, he comes alive, or she comes alive, and then and then the dialogue begins to write itself, and the plot almost begins to write or develop itself because the person almost insists that you do certain things that are consistent with his or her character, uh, and then the best thing to do is to just let that happen. Um, you take that, you know, you let the writer, you let the the the, the, the character just run with the ball. Um, and then at some point, you, know, you and Dean are possibly deflect the conversation in a certain direction. But when that happens, in any case, it's the greatest feeling, to, and it's also, I think, evidence of the fact that you're on target. You're doing something right. 